What's up, you guys? My name is Jason Sanford, and welcome to a very special edition of Tech Tuesdays. Today, we're going to be doing an at-home demo of the Apple Vision Pro. So, let's do an unboxing. So, there's some flaps that you pull right here. All right, and boom, guys, here it is. This is the Apple Vision Pro 256 gigabytes of storage. And so in order to get this Apple Vision Pro, I actually had to go in the store and measure my head for my light seal in this band that goes around. But uh, let's charge it and see what we can do. So we should be able to go. So. They told me to put this on, you grab it with your left hand, and you grab the band with your right hand. Hey, this is Jason inside of the Apple Vision Pro, which I'm actually using to record this voiceover. Instead of using hand controllers like the MetaQuest 3, the Apple Vision Pro uses a series of cameras and sensors to sense where you're looking at and your hands to select things. So to select, you pinch. To scroll left, right, up and down, you pinch and drag. And to move your windows, you look at the bottom of the bar and you pinch them and drag them where you want to put them. The Apple Vision Pro has three layouts. One for applications, two for your contacts, and three for your environments, which are my personal favorite. Within these environments, you can either fully immerse yourself or you can choose how transparent you want your environment to be. These environments are fully immersive and look absolutely stunning when you put on the headset. The coolest feature in my opinion has to be persona what persona is is a beta feature of the apple vision pro that takes and captures a 3d render of your face you can use it for facetime and other video chat apps this is probably the first thing i did was make a persona of myself and facetime with my friends to see if they could tell if it was the real me or not so far the apple vision does not have a lot of third -word party software the majority of the software is apple products like safari apple tv and apple music but hopes that developers will soon start to develop applications for it in the future. I think that multitasking is the biggest appeal of this device. As you can see right here, I'm cooking dinner and also following a recipe that I found on YouTube for stuffed bell peppers. And you can see right here, I'm doing some homework and also watching NBA highlights. It's really amazing what you can do and how productive you can be. As well as being productive, you can pair the Apple Vision Pro with your MacBook to make a virtual display and type in on your computer. These accessories all work hand in hand together because they're Apple, of course, but it also just makes a lot of sense. The only one thing that doesn't make sense is the price tag of $3,500. I honestly think that this is a bit too steep, regardless of Apple or Meta or who else makes a VR headset. Compared to the Quest and other VR headsets, I will say that this is absolutely stunning, but just because the graphics are stunning doesn't mean it's worth this price tag. And with the lack of software applications out for it yet, I would not recommend this product that you buy right now. I was gonna make an upgraded version, uh, the lower price point, and at that time we'll have better applications. All in all, it seems kind of rushed. There are a lot of bugs, and sometimes the eye hand tracking is not the best. So that is my review of the Apple Vision Pro, and you can actually demo a Vision Pro in the Apple Store for free. I'm Jason Sanford with the YR Media, and this has been Tech Tuesday on the Apple Vision Pro.